Let's discuss about the electric field due to a point charge. Let us consider Q be a point charge placed at O in the medium of air. A test charge that is Q0 is placed at P at a distance R from Q. So according to Coulomb's law if we consider according to Coulomb's law if we consider the force acting on Q0 will be F equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q0 divided by R square. Since we have Q1 Q0, so we have represented. We knew that Coulomb's law is F equal to K into Q1 Q2 divided by R square. When we apply the logic of Coulomb's law over here, the force will be in this way. So the electric field at a point P, by definition, we can say that the force per unit charge will be F divided by Q0. So the value of F will be substituted that is 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R square. So if you see this Q naught and Q naught will be getting cancelled. So we will be getting 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R square. Let us discuss the direction of E which is along the line joining O and P. So you can see here pointing away from Q then we can simply deploy Q is positive. If it is towards Q then Q is negative. So indicating the direction of E along the line joining OP when it is pointing away from Q then this Q will be positive. And if it is towards it is negative. In terms of the vector notation, E vector is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R square into R pi. Where this R pi is indicating the unit vector pointing away from Q. Where we knew that F equal to, this F is indicating the Coulomb force and we knew very well that Q is indicating the charge and Q naught is the test charge and R is the distance and mu and this epsilon naught is indicating the permittivity of free space. Let us discuss about the electric field due to system of charges. If there are number of stationary charges, you can see the number of stationary charges over here. The net electric field at a point is considered to be the vector sum of the individual electric fields due to each charge. So we can deploy this as E vector equal to E1 vector plus E2 vector plus E3 vector till it goes on till n. So by substituting we will be getting 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 divided by R1 square into R1 cap plus Q2 divided by R2 square into R2 cap and it goes on. So this was defining and explaining about the electric field due to the system of charges.